Let's play. Alright, so now you'll notice I have a football. The football is one of the items you can use to quell Pumpkinhead's spirit in Lair. Oh shit. I remember when I got to this part of the video. <laughs> I was recording and I just kept thinking, oh gosh, I'm so screwed, I am screwed, I'm going to die. And it just kind of walks by me. Now, if, if you're playing it on a harder difficulty, these guys won't keep walking in a straight line like this guy, like this guy's doing. They'll actually turn and they'll punch you. I actually have yet to play this game in hard mode. There, there's a lot that's different when you switch modes too. I'm playing in easy at the moment for the let's play. Maybe at some point I could do another let's play for normal and hard mode. Uh, anyways, uh, you remember how I was telling you about contributing factors, like certain movie portals won't give you items? This is an example. See? Nothing happened. And like I was explaining earlier, you can exit the movie portals. Save the lost soul. Oh no! The game's art director's scared! Um, you'll probably notice the snakes. The, there are a lot of snakes. Like, head snake medallion. I don't even know what they are or what they do. They're just there. Hey, remember this? Hey. I hope you know what to do with this, because I sure don't. I think I'm going to give it to my daughter. That's what I'm going to do with it. Oh, he gave me a white teddy bear. How ca Wait a second. Okay, solid snake this shit. Yeah. It hit him in the arm. Come on, dissolve into nothing already. Ugh, anyways. So... The, the nice thing about having some of the items in other parts from, from some of the items you get in the first part, they're items that you're going to be required to have save for level 2. Soul. Some of the items will include the voodoo doll in order to save the victims. The newspaper, believe it or not, is actually essential to beating level 2. And I know in my previous video I said that it was just for hints and everything. I need to come out with a commitment right now. I actually did not beat this game when I started the Let's Play. And I can see why people wouldn't admit to beating this game. You will see why at the end of the Let's Play. Oh no! The lighting is horrible! I can't see anything! Arise, chicken! Arise! Arise, chicken! Arise! You have saved Jane. I have saved Jeannie and Jane, eh? Pumpkinhead Run away, he's coming after you. Oh no, you're going to die. Woo 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 woo. Uh, you'll, you'll notice me getting stuck a lot in this video. I, I... Out of all my Let's Plays I recorded, I think I went through this level about three times with three different recordings. This was actually my fastest. This one was done in about 33 minutes. My other one was done in 45, and the other one was done in 50. This was the last one I recorded, and it's actually the one I went through the fastest. I know that if I didn't mess around as much, because I do mess around quite a lot in this, if I didn't mess around as much, it could have probably easily been cut by about five more minutes. Not a big thing, but, you know. All the wandering around, it gives me plenty of time to explain the game's logic? I don't even know what to call it. So, what's nice, I was explaining earlier, about the items that you'll get, is that a lot of them will carry over and help you. Like, having the map from level 1 will 
fill in the map for the rest of the levels too for you. You might be wondering why I pause every single time I see these things. They're ridiculous. I have nothing to say every time I see one. I cannot think of a joke to make on these things. They are enemies that just sound like trampolines. And they bounce around. How are you supposed to pick on that? Save the lost soul. Quickly, before they all die. Look at that guy. He's scared. And now, for the portraits of Pumpkin Bloodwings, Pumpkinhead Revenge's art direction and cast, after seeing that they were going to be in this kind of game. I, ha I don't even know what the purpose of that room is. The room with all the bloody spikes. It's just there to get in the way. Like, wh how could it be hard to just link in the bottom part of the map that leads to the Hall of Purgatory? That's what it's called. The Hall of Purgatory, and not have that big empty room with the spikes. Ah! Gosh, I hate those things. All they do is get in the way. And they come out of nowhere. Um, okay. From this video on, we're gonna just keep watching the cinematics. Jason's coming! Ray, wrong movie! Get to the car. Get to the car. Drop the keys. Oh, man. I smell fear. Come on! Come on! Why won't it turn on? That's right! I'm in a crappy game based off a crappy movie! No! <laughs> you can tell he was the stoner. Come here. I've got a little secret for you. <laughs> Now, any character that does something like that will give you a piece of the metal, which is what that corner thing is right here. You need three of those in order to beat Lair, which is why I recommend watching every single cutscene in this level. <sighs> Dead end. Let's see. Now, I have the hunting license equipped for a very good reason. The hunting license is actually used to see where the enemies are on the map, where all your energy recharge stations are, and where the lost souls are when they're floating around the Hall of Purgatory. Ooh, hey, look, this should be good. Oh, nope, she tripped, she's dead. I could just get back up! But that would require effort on my part. Finish her. Sully mentality. I'm the key to your future. Ew. <laughs> Guys, would you allow me to just collect my thoughts for one second after watching that? Mm -hmm.